Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will see how we can use smart sheets in order to track our tasks and make our life easy. So a smart sheet is a great way to enhance your productivity and save more time for you and you can utilize that time on something else. So let's get started with it. So let's see how we can create an account on a smart sheet first. So open up your browser then search for a smart sheet. After that you need to just open up the very first link that you will see on the Google search results just open this up and this is where it will lead us after that all you have to do is just click on this option of try smart sheet for free and then it will ask us for our email address and there will be no credit cards required in the first place so we have to just provide our email address over here let me provide mine and after that all you have to do is just click on continue then it will ask you to type your first name, last name, phone number, job title and the size of your company. So make sure that you provide the right information as all the templates that you will be getting will be according to your information that you will provide to Smartsheet. After that click on try Smartsheet for free. Then Smartsheet will send an email to your email address that we just provided and all we have to do is just open up our email address. And we will be able to see a link there. All we have to do is just click on that particular link and our trial for a smart sheet will be activated. So this is the email and we have to just click on this option of confirm email. And here it will lead us to this place. Now we need to create a password for our account in order to keep it safe. So we will just create one. After creating your password just click on this box and check it up after that just click on next and here it will ask some more information about you select your sector or the industry over here and then select the type of work by clicking over here and this way you will be provided with different options you just have to choose them you can select more than one over here and after that just click on next it will ask for a project name over here just provide one and then choose a view for your project like it can be a great project or grant or card and this way you will be able to preview all the uh, projects by just clicking on them this is how the card one will appear this is how the grid one will appear and just choose them accordingly as per your requirements so I'm going to choose the card one for now and click on continue then it will ask us to add main tasks of our project so we can just add them and click on add for now or we can even skip it and we can even if we add them now we will be able to change them later on I'm just adding it for now so you can see what it actually leads up to and I'm taking the example of managing a YouTube channel so I will choose the tasks accordingly and then click on next then click on next again next again and here it will ask us to add email address of the people who we want to invite to our particular project so we can all work together if you are working all alone then you can just simply click on this option of skip a step or if you are to invite people then you can just simply use your gmail address or the outlook in order to invite them after that just click on this option of build project I'm just skipping this step because I'm going to make a project which is for one person but the same project can be used for a team also now this is how it will look like and all we have to do is just click on this option of task sheet and this is how our project will look like the one that we just created while creating our account and we can just simply move them around if we have not even started it then we can just put them over here and suppose we have started researching on a particular topic on YouTube we can just move them over here and we can just add more cards to it by clicking on this particular option of add cart and this way we will be able to track our tasks on Smartsheet. This is just one of the way to create tasks and track them. Now let's explore the other ways and for that you need to just click on this option of plus over here which is the solution center and all you have to do is just click on it and this is where it will lead us 
and here in the search section you will have to uh, search for uh, tasks and it is basically a keyword so all the uh, templates related to this particular uh, keyword will appear over here and this way you will be able to see all the templates relating to your daily task weekly task or monthly task so whatever the time limitations of your task you can just uh, choose a template for them and then track them quite easily and suppose if you are working for a team then you will be able to find templates relating to your team also over here all you have to do is just make a search query over here and you will be able to do that now let's explore it how we can just open up a template and use it and for that you need to just select one of them now for an example i'm just selecting the very first one when we click on it we will be able to preview how this particular task or template will actually look like and after that we need to just click on use so when we click on something else then the templates uh, preview will be shown over here so this way you will be able to see whether this particular template is useful for you or not now let's open up one of them it is asking me to complete my profile since our profile is quite new and we just create an account we can do it later on and here this is how it will open up now we need to click on this option of daily task manager and all the templates that we are selecting will move to this option of browse on the left hand side and the one that we just created is also over here in the workspaces so we need to just click on it to open it up and this is how it will look like so you can just add tasks over here and the ones that are quite easy to do and will take less time so you can just add those tasks those tasks under this heading of quick tasks and when you are able to complete that particular task you can just check this box and it will be removed and this way you will be able to track it whether a particular task has been completed or not you can also set uh, your task according to priority if some task is of high priority you can just add it under this section of high priority you can also change the name of these headings like the date of it suppose you want your tasks to be completed when the half of the month reaches then you can just add 15th uh, date over on this option by just click double clicking on it and just changing it after that you will be able to uh, add all the tasks that need to be completed when the month reaches its half and you are able to complete or check them by the fifth of every month so you can just make changes accordingly even if the template has been uh, chosen from these smart sheets so this way you get the full freedom to make changes as per your needs and requirements and this is how you track tasks using a smart sheet i hope this video was helpful if you still need any help you can always comment down below our team will be happy to help you out Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.